this video, I'm going to do a quick recap of Coulomb's Law, and then we're going to take it to the next step by finding the distance today. So Coulomb's Law is essentially finding the force between two particles. So I have a charged particle here, Q1, and then I have a charged particle here, Q2. And then I'm also going to be looking at the distance between those particles. So in my equation here, I have Fe, so we're finding the force, equals K. K is always going to be 9 times 10 to the ninth. It's a constant. So we're always going to use that value for K. Q1 is the value of, or the charge rather, of particle 1, and that's going to be in coulombs. Q2 is the charge of particle 2. And again, that will be in coulombs. And then the distance, we're going to square, and that distance is going to be measured in meters. All right, let's take a look at a review problem. This is very similar to the types of problems that we were dealing with in our previous lesson. So the question reads, two objects are 7.7 .7 times 10 to the third meters apart. One object has a charge of 8.2 times 10 to the negative 3 coulombs, and the other has a charge of 9.5 times 10 to the negative 3 coulombs. Determine the force between the objects. Our equation is going to be F equals K Q1 Q2 over the distance squared. Remember, K is always going to be 9 times 10 to the ninth. That's a constant value. Um, Q1 can be either of the charges, so it doesn't matter which charge is which doesn't matter which one's Q1 and which one's Q2. So I'm going to label 8.2 times 10 to the negative third as Q1, and then Q2 will be 9.5 times 10 to the negative third. And I'm going to put this over the distance squared. So the distance in the question is 7.7 .7 times 10 to the third, and then we're going to square that number. It's a little tricky when we enter this in the calculator, but I have a simple way for you. All right, let's go ahead and put this in our calculator. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we're in scientific mode. So I'm gonna press the second button and then go up here to the DRG button, and it'll give me this option. I'm gonna go over to science and then press the enter button. So if you notice down here, it says we're in science mode, so we're good to go, or scientific mode rather. So for this problem here, we're going to put it into our calculator in two different parts. We're going to do the top, the numerator, first, and then we're going to do the second part. We're going to divide it by the denominator squared. So let's begin by entering in our calculator. So the first part is k, so 9 times 10, the little caret button down here. Okay, the little caret button gets you the exponent. Uh, 9 times 10 to the ninth. close the parentheses, and we've got 8.2 times 10 to the negative third, and then 9.5 times 10 to the negative third. Close the parentheses. So all I've done at this point is just enter the numerator. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and it returns an answer. Now I'm just going to press the division button here and watch what happens. So it takes the answer that I had from the previous part and saves it as ANS, or answer. So I'm taking the answer and I'm dividing it by, I'm going to use parentheses here, I'm going to enter the denominator. So 7.7 .7 times 10 to the third. Now I still need to square it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the X squared button here. So if I press that, it squares it. And now when I press enter, it gives me my answer. So we're going to go ahead and round this to 1.2 times 10 to the negative second. All right, so after we punch this in our calculator, we got an answer of 1.2 times 10 to the negative second, and that's in newtons. That's our final answer. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we were just finding the force, so we weren't doing any kind of manipulation. We just plug straight into the equation. Today we're going to be finding the distance. Distance is going to be a little trickier because there's a square root involved. So our equation's a little different. 
Here's an example. The force between two charged objects is 100 newtons. So this time we're given the force. One object has a charge of 0.2 coulombs and the other has a charge of 0.4 coulombs. Determine the distance between the objects and it says to round to the nearest whole number. So our distance equation is going to be the square root of k, u1, u2, and it's going to be over the force this time. So k is going to be 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q1, again, either of these charges. So 0.2, and then the other, 0 0.4. And then this is going to be over the force. The force in the question is 100 newtons. We're not squaring this, we just type it right in. Now I have a trick to make this a little bit easier on the calculator so you're not typing it all in at once. All right, putting these into our calculator can be a doozy, but I'm gonna show you a little trick that will make it hopefully a little simpler for you. So just like we did with the previous problem, we're going to just do the numerator first. So I'm gonna use parentheses here. So nine times 10 to the ninth, that's our K and then 0.2 and 0.4. So I've just entered the numerator at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. So it returns our answer. Now, here's the trick. This is gonna make it a little bit easier for you. I'm gonna press the second button and then I'm gonna to go to square root. So that is right above the x squared button. So I'm gonna press that. Okay, so it does the square root. Now, I'm gonna press second and then at the very bottom, right above the negative symbol, you'll see ANS. So I'm gonna press that button. So it's basically saying the square root of the answer, and remember the answer is currently the uh, entire numerator. That's what we just found. So answer divided by the denominator, which is just 100, close parentheses. So there's our answer. We're gonna go ahead and round this to 2.7 times 10 to the third. So after solving this on our calculator, we get 2.7 times 10 to the third newtons. Let's look at one last example. It says the force between two charged objects is 3.7 newtons. One object has a charge of 3.42 times 10 to the negative third coulombs, and the other has a charge of 6.72 times 10 to the negative five coulombs. Determine the distance between the objects. Round to the nearest temp. Again, our equation is gonna be distance equals the square root of K, Q1, Q2 over force. K is always nine times 10 to the ninth. Q1, let's make that 3.42 times 10 to the negative third. And let's make Q2 6.72 times 10 to the negative five. And this is gonna be over the force. Force is 3.7 newtons. Let's try typing this into our calculator. And let's do this on our calculator. So just like with the previous problem, we're gonna go ahead and do the entire numerator in our calculator first. So using parentheses, let's do nine times 10 to the ninth, and then 3.42 times 10 to the negative third, and then 6.72 times 10 to the negative fifth. So there is our entire numerator. And our trick, remember, is to, boo, to go second, and then we are going to go to the square root button, which is right above the x squared. So there's our square root button. And then I'm gonna press second again, and then I'm gonna go down here to where the ANS is, so the negative symbol, I'm gonna press that. So it's taking the square root of our answer now, and then we're gonna divide that by our denominator, which is 3.7 and then hit enter. So we're gonna go ahead and round this to 2.4.
Now if you notice, it says times 10 to the 1. We're still going to write out times 10 to the 1. And our final answer was 2.4 times 10 to the first newtons.